Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space Art Journal page today. Um, so, filling up the last few pages in my wine book. This wine book has been going for about four years. Um, it's split into two books and I finished the first half of the book and this is the second half. I've got a few pages to go. So, on that left hand page was a napkin. That was the second layer of the napkin that had still some colourful um, like splops of paint on it. And the other side I have gessoed and you can see the text underneath. And I gave that napkin a slight coat of gesso as well. So what I'm going through is these tiny little tubes and pots of paint that I've accumulated over my years. Um, at the end of this year and start of next year, I'm, my art stash is getting condensed and used up. So little things like these little paint tubes and stuff are being put aside and they're my go-to first. And this particular yellow one did not like me. I think it might have dried up. Hence the reason I want to use things up because things are drying up in my stash because I keep buying new stuff and wanting to new, new stuff. So a bunch of Joe Sonia stuff, I've probably had those oh, eight years or so, the little tubes. Um, so a range of different paints and things and this actually come out of the kit that I travel with when I go and travel as well. Um, so they're handy in the travelling. I'm so wanting to try some Dina Wakely paints, but the amount of paints I've got in my stash at the moment, I really can't justify buying new pots. So I'm just trying to use up what I've got. So I just squirted them around on my page, and now I'm just using different fingers to spread them around. I should have done colour by colour, um, so I was desperately trying not to make mud, but I make mud in a little bit of the areas, but that's fine. I just felt like playing with paint this night I sat down and did my art journal page and just I had no idea of where I was going I'm grabbing a baby wipe and smudging some of the paint around as well I just started with throwing paint on my page and then sort of some inspiration grew so just drying off that paint before my next layer so sometimes I don't have an idea of what I'm going to do when I sit down an art journal I just start with a product and then think oh this look good on the top so here I'm trying a reverse stenciling technique I've seen this on a few YouTube channels I was drying the page off and then I decided oh no I'm going to do this reverse technique so this is just putting a bit of clock um, Roman clock in the background so basically I'm wiping the paint off through the stencil with a baby wipe and it reveals the paint or the color underneath which is white obviously so it's a different way of using your stencil <gasps> It only works if your paint is wet and it only sort of works the best if it's on a gessoed surface or on a sealed surface. If it's straight on paper, you won't get the paint off. It's got to be on sort of a non-porous surface. So now I decided to dry my page. Didn't work out as sort of well as I expected it, but then I grabbed this bit of tissue paper and I don't even know. I think this is, again, old. Everything in my stash is old. I'm old. It's old. <laughs> I think this is some dye release paper from... Couture Creations, or it might have been before they were Couture Creations, to put on your dye a lot like it's a waxy paper, a lot like a waxy paper to actually um, help release those intricate dyes. Now it was too pretty to do that with to cut it up, so I do use it for collage in my art journal. And I just like these abstracty flowers. And this little bit of tissue paper then born the rest of the ideas for the page so just gluing that down with some little birdie matte gel medium and stuck some of the scraps around as well that I'd torn off I'm trying to use up sorry about that as I said I'm trying to use up this year so as I tore little bits of scrap off that piece I decided to stick them down on the page instead of throwing them in my ever-growing scraps pile I have a few scrap bins at the moment that need to be um, culled down or used up so just drying the matte gel medium off so I like those flowers they were nice and black and they were a good contrast so here I'm looking for my Stabilo oil pencil which is basically a pencil that will draw over basically any surface and then you can activate it with water now it was having a bit of issue over the paint um, so I actually changed to a different way of drawing and I had the napkin under that side as well so this is thinned down black paint in a fine lighter bottle I got in a class kit many years ago Lexus loves to draw with this thing um, and it just keeps going and going and going and we've used this thing to death and I haven't replaced the black paint in it. It's got a 
metal tip in the lid that you put down the metal tip to stop it from clogging. So basically decided just hand sketch some um, flowers sort of following along the abstracty style of the flowers that are on that piece of tissue waxy paper. Now I decided to fill in my flowers black to make them sort of stand out from the page. So this is just a Joe Sonia's black tube of paint that I'm trying to use up. You could use black gesso, you could use any black. Just make sure it's an opaque paint, it's not like a translucent kids paint because you do want to block out the the paint in the background. I know that main flower on the left hand side is a bit wonky but hey that's my life lately it's wonky. Um, so I do like the abstract flowers if I was going for, for perfection I would have grabbed a stamp or a stencil but this particular night I was just interested in playing with paints mainly and a bit of tissue paper so some days I like things to be actual realistic and I will get a stamp or I'll get an image out to collage on and some days I just want to make a mess with my paints. Depends what mood I'm in. Depends who's annoyed me that day. <laughs> no. <laughs> I actually use a lot of my art journaling as time out as well. If I've had a um, a challenging day with family life, with work life, with just life in general, just stupid people I've had to deal with on the phone. I've had a fair few of those lately. Um, <laughs> I just love to bring out my art journal and it's my time to relax and it's just my time to play. And this particular evening I just wanted to get paint on my fingers. I do figure paint a lot. Something about the feel of the paint and the way you can squish it and all that is just, it, it takes you back to childhood when you were three and four and went to kindergarten and just painted with your fingers and had no care and didn't matter what colours were put next to each other. So I'm liking the flowers, they are looking rather funky, just sort of going over them to make sure the black was dry, obviously it's not dry and I need to sort of flatten out some of the lumps of paint and then go back in again. So then I grab my black Stabilo oil pencil again and sort of do some sketchy lines around the flowers because they sort of looked, looked very stark and if I'd left them like this they would not have looked as good. So I'm not following the actual shape, I'm actually coming out randomly from the shape I'm doing sort of sketchy lines and that sort of adds to the sketchiness look of them and then I decided that we needed some more dimension to them and I discovered my white Stabilo oil pencil goes awesome over black paint and it goes awesome on black paper as well. There are a few other colours of Stabilo oil pencils, I just haven't played with those as much as the black and white ones and they're available from Officeworks if anyone in Australia is looking for them, they're, only, they're like two dollars, they are fantastic. They're available on other websites as well, which gee they're expensive on other websites. And if your local store doesn't carry them, they will order them in for you. So then I put a wiggly border around the edge, a squiggly border. I, I like to border a lot of my pages. Then I found the background looked too clean and it needed some mark making just to fill in the gaps. So I grabbed a black permanent marker. Brush, what have I got in my hand? Yeah, black permanent marker. I just went randomly did some collection of little dashes just to add another layer on my page and to add a bit more interest in the background. I could have done this with a stamp as well but I just decided to do it with a pen. Then I grabbed a white chalk paint pen that I have been using for a while. It's more of a paint pen than a chalk pen and just did some dots on my flowers and I'm so impressed on how my flowers turned out. I really love them. So this was a nice quick page. Um, it took me about half an hour from start to go with drying as well. So just putting some dots and dashes in the background with the white and I love how this has turned out. So I've got some still photos at the end for you to have a look at. And I'll catch you next time. Next time I do an art journal page. This one was so much fun. Do you find you have an idea? Question for you down below. Do you find you have an idea when you start an art journal page or you just start with something and then something else sparks your mind and then you sort of go off on a tangent? Um, I do that a lot or unless I'm working on a challenge and then I sort of have a base anyway. So thank you for watching and welcome to all my new subbies that have come on board in the last couple of weeks. Um, let me know down below what sort of videos you'd like to see if you want to see anything different and I'll leave you with these still photos at the end. It's really hard to get photos this day, the light was not behaving at all. Thanks for watching, bye for now.